<laughs> so here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Holy oh. hell. <laughs> That's unbelievable. It really is your born again oh. Aston Martin. Mate, the paint's the paint is incredible. Yeah. Oh, mate, the wheels, the cal the calipers. I think the whole thing mate, works really, really you well. Absolutely yeah? you love it? nailed that. Yeah. I think we kind of Crikey. we found a bit in the middle, didn't we? Because I like the the. You the like the all wheels, yeah the, and yeah all gold. I think that's a really happy medium. It, it wow. kind of gives you that low profile feel to the, to yes. the wheel, but it's, it's the details. Well, we amazing. really took on board what you said about when you have a completely black rim, yep. um, when the tire meets the rim, it makes the look like the tire wall is fatter. It, right? exactly. But with this sort of bronze yeah. beading on the edge, you can obviously clearly see yeah. the edge of the rim and it just, yeah, it sits really well. It's I can't amazing. get over that. I can't get over that. It's an amazing transformation. It really is a completely new car, it especially really, for you. I can't, I'm blown away by it, honestly. Oh man, I've just seen the front. I've only just seen that. The leading edge of the grill. I'm blown away by that. I genuinely am. It's really, really serious. I mean, in here as well, it's fairly low light and the paint yeah. is popping. It's all these little bits of detailing. You're right about the grill. Yeah. You're right about you know this beautiful line that we picked Leading out on the, on the side straight. I mean, yeah. you know, it took Lewis hours and hours to get that absolutely pin sharp, but it shows in the detail. Honestly, watching the team do their thing, like yeah. the craft was just... I also thought you'd, you'd gone and ordered new carbon parts because the carbon refurbishment you've done, it looks brand new. Yeah, it's amazing how we can refurbish it, how you take it back, re-lacquer it and make it look like new. So it is a new car, and of course yeah. the last thing any new car has to have is, is the, the wings. Is the wings. It's, it's the tradition that it's not an Aston Martin until it's fully finished and customer acceptable, and we put the wings on it. Have I got the pressure of putting this on You've here? got to put it on, for Are God's sake don't mess it up, and don't put them Mate, on I don't twisted. Know. It's such a nice thing, I don't want to... <laughs> so you've just got to get absolutely square on. Honestly, I am genuinely... I don't know if it's because I'm completely jet lagged, but I'm a little bit emotional <laughs> about it. It's such, honestly, yeah, I think it's, it's... It's a big moment. I think the car looks absolutely sensational. I really do. And I think the, the, the bronze color you have with the green, it's just epic, absolutely epic. I'm not usually lost for words, but honestly, what you've done here is truly something Thank else. You. It's truly the, amazing. And the team have taken really, such really. great pleasure in doing it. And they, they, they've loved doing this because we don't often you know, make a, an old car new again yeah. in, in this kind of era, yeah. to do with the restoration. But to do this kind of job was, was something they took a huge amount of pride in. Well, know? I really hope it encourages other people to bring cars in because for me, from a process, I mean, we've recently come back from Car Week. Yeah. Like the amount of people that were asking us about this really? project. And, yeah. and, and it really, it, I mean, I've got goosebumps speaking about it. Yeah. It really sets context that we're like, that the impact of this project has been global, you know? And the amount of people that were like, when's the next update? I'm like, it's coming uh -huh. soon. And they were like, what's it look like? I was like, I genuinely don't know, <laughs> you, know? you know? This whole thing has taken on a life of its own. I even got stopped in Costa Coffee by somebody who said, oh, I saw you on the You're JW the video. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so shall we make this Aston Martin? Aston Martin, Aston Martin. I think we're Honestly, thank you. I think what you've done is, I know it's a whole team effort, but the, the journey that we've been on with you guys specifically, uh, from pulling out the wrong screw on day one. It's had some uh, not very good repairs. <laughs> it's massive. There's a little bit of an issue there, I can see. It's actually all fell to pieces. That's cracked. It's beginning to delaminate. Wrong clip fix in there. You see the damage to the paintwork. The bumper's yeah. cracked as well. Right. They've been glued in. Oh, it's got a little hole in it. Surprising the amount of stone chips. Resprayed door. Right. Oh yes, the bonnet's been off at some point. There should be two clips in here. It's been off before. But they're not doing anything. <laughs> Job keeps growing. Gas struts on the door, they're both shot. There's like animals in there. I thought I got a good deal on this car. And in a minute, we're gonna find something serious. I believe at some point it's had a full respray. You know, to watch you go for the masking of all of those bronze yeah. components. It's been a pleasure to do it, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been so good. To create something extraordinary and special. The plan is we're going to be unveiling this 
at Hampton Court Palace. That'll yeah, be awesome. awesome. Yeah. And hopefully it'll be sunny because this paint in the sun is going to transform it. But I was saying, you know, even in here, the light's not super bright and the contours of the car now are really apparent. You can see so much shape in it. Now there's one part yes. that we discussed very early on. Right. I've got to show you. So you remember okay. when we spoke about the gear stick? Yeah. And we said, when you get in when it's cold, the gear stick you can't touch because it's freezing cold. Yes. And leave out the sunshine, it's so hot you can't actually touch it. Yes. Yeah. So the trim okay. guys have yeah. actually created a leather <laughs> cover joking? for your gear stick <laughs> no that you can way. leave on it. So we get into it no when it's hot, you can way. actually still drive the car and not burn your hand. Velcro wow, it's got it, like so a little just pull it Velcro. Off. It's like the kind of, um, that's, that is a nice it's touch. It little. reminds me of the HUD you put on a Falcon. <laughs> it is just like that, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. That, on yeah. the bird of prey, yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. Speaking of Steve, when we first turned up, he said he's, he's worked on some of the older cars, right? Yeah, yeah. What is the room we're in now? So this room is effectively called uh, Olympia. Okay. It's like the Olympia building in London. So ah. This is primarily our heritage showroom. So every car in here is actually for sale. Every car in wow. here, apart from yours and the DB7, we're actually okay. manufactured here and built at on Newport Pagnell. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's so, incredible. Uh, it's Phenomenal. It just shows you the kind of the heritage and the longevity of Aston Martin being on this site since yes. 1955. Um, and some of the iconic cars, you know, DB5s, there's two DB5s here, DB6, DB4, DB8, <laughs> Vantage, Vanquish. Um, you know, it, it is kind of like- so the Vanquish was built on this site? Yeah, wow. absolutely. I forgot about that. So Vanquish was the last production uh, road car that uh -huh. manufactured, finished in July, 2007. Right. And obviously the okay. cars we've built post 2007 will be continuation cars. Right, which are not of course. For, not for road use. Sure. But um, yeah, it's, it's a fascinating, uh, fascinating portfolio. And it's wonderful for your kind of, if you like, born again at Newport Pagnell, yes. DBS, to be amongst its peers. It's almost like they're all looking at it. Yeah. Going, yeah, actually, we give you the nod of approval, actually. Well, actually, yeah, now you've yeah. set the context of it, it's a real honor to yeah. actually have the handover here. All right, let's give you a walk and talk of these details. I'm, I'm actually genuinely stuck for where to start with this thing. So let's just take it from the front, work our way to the back, uh, starting off with the paint. So this paint, if anyone didn't follow the journey, this is called Lennox Green, and it's a paint that uh, we were really honored to collaborate with Aston Martin on for a limited edition DBX spec uh, about 18 months ago. And the trick thing about it is uh, the technology of the paint, AKA the formula of it, was originally developed for the Aston Martin Valkyrie. And that's why it's such a heavy pearlescent metallic fleck. And it does an incredible job of whatever surface it goes on. It just seems to highlight all of the contours, curves and sculptures of it. And as a result, I've never seen the bonnet of a DBS look that contoured. Look at that straight line there. It's so prominent, it's gorgeous. And all these scoops and flares are starting to pop out. Now, the car started with the theme that we developed for that DBX project, which was this Lennox green on contrasting bronze accents. So that's kind of where this theme came from. Now, on that project, uh, it took a lot of work for us to convince Aston Martin to allow us to evolve their badge to a bronze and black version to complement the overall theme of the car. And we teamed up with Vortens, who are based in the jewelry quarter of Birmingham. They have been making and still do make all of Aston Martin's badges, including their limited edition stuff. So we've had this stunning bronze badge made, it literally forged in the flames of Birmingham. Lennox green contrasting against the sort of antique bronze. So we thought, why don't we complement all of the other accents of the car? So this is where the work from works really starts to show itself because we've tied it in with these leading edge accents throughout the car. So Lewis hand masked, hand painted these. He completely stripped the grill back. This is actually a brand new grill because the one which was installed on the car when we first brought it into works was literally falling apart. So they ordered a brand new grill. Lewis deconstructed it, stripped it right back, anodized and painted it and put on this leading edge here. So it's black in the back with a complementing bronze leading edge to tie it in with the badge here. Now, while we're also around the front, they have re-lacquered the headlights. And this is a big reason why this car looks new. Even though pretty much every part on it is an original part, they've reconditioned everything. So the lights, over time, they got a sort of uh, fade on them and they started to look old. So they've stripped these back and they have re 
lacquered them and even the washer outlet here they've repainted that black and it's small details that at first you can't quite put your finger on but they all add up to make this car look entirely new so we've got new looking and lacquered headlights and then the carbon fiber so the front of this car was utterly battered including the carbon when i first saw this stuff i actually thought they'd ordered brand new carbon parts but it turns out they had refurbished it all in-house and i'll show you the rest of that when we get around to the back of the car because it obviously has a substantial carbon rear diffuser now then grills on top of the bonnet on the standard car these are silver but to keep it in with the darker moodier black theme these have been stripped out and painted black so in the vents there we are black on the top here black and that ties in with all of the external hardware on the car here so conventional dbs surrounds around the window these are conventionally chrome these have been completely de-chromed uh, sandblasted and stripped back and painted properly in this satin finish and this all just adds up to it looking sort of evil it's cool now then the wheels these took forever to decide on uh we had the option of all gold and even maintaining silver we had the option of all black but we wanted to highlight the the works aspect of it which is ultimately creating your bespoke custom car and these were hand masked hand painted uh, we actually had a few members of the audience um, give us photoshops of what this looks like with the beading extending around the rim here and then in contrast with that we've got now a black aston martin script on the newly painted gold brake calipers and then continuing in with the highlight accents lewis has done an incredible job of once again sandblasting the original chrome side strokes and then putting a leading edge of complementing bronze along this side which is actually split and continues on the door fold there the guys nailed it now then to the rear one of my favorite features from vorton's is the bespoke dbs badging right here so these have actually been custom made you can see there look it is a brushed effect a brushed bronze finish tying in with the custom badge on the rear uh, that's actually one of the reasons that we decided not to have any uh further bronze highlighting on the rear of the car because we thought those two bronze accents are enough. Now then, coming back to the carbon which I was speaking about, uh, this is entirely refurbished rear diffuser. The job on it is so good. As I mentioned earlier, I thought they'd ordered a brand new part because it looks brand new. And then in keeping with that moody black theme, exhaust tips have also been anodized black. And the whole stance, it just sets it off. Look at it. It looks so good. Now, bearing in mind, in here, the light isn't that bright. It's got a bit of a sepia tone to it. And even still, the contours of it, the paint, look at it. Genuinely, I can't thank the guys enough. They need a round of applause. The work they've done on it is just incredible. The next time you'll see this, hopefully, will be in direct sunlight at Hampton Court for its first public unveiling during the concourse of elegance. So I've just had a thought on a serious note. Uh, this has definitely increased the value of the DBS, which means I'm going to have to speak to uh, Andy at first point to make sure that the insurance cover, which is currently on this DBS when it was black and, well, wasn't a one of one DBS, uh, is now matched to the new value of it. So that'll be an interesting chat as a unique one of one proposition. Uh, it's a pretty interesting case. All right, now the exciting stuff begins. So. Simultaneously, when this video goes live, we're also going to be unveiling it as its first sort of public debut at Hampton Court Palace for the Concourse of Elegance. And that's why it's about to get on this truck. So one of the awesome things about Works is that they can collect and deliver the car anywhere for you. That's kind of part of the service. So before I get to drive it, which I am absolutely aching to do, it's going to go on the Works Transporter and they are gonna deliver it directly to Hampton Court in time for the unveiling. So really hoping for some sunshine. I mean, even in the overcast, it's looking really green, but if we can get some direct sunlight, that's when this is gonna transform.